Hello everyone, this is Curtis with We Whack a Line Care. Hey, I'm still retired, guys. I've just been on the go, moving all the time, uh, traveling, going here and there, uh, working on different projects. And uh, the one I was working on yesterday, I was, uh, let's see, I went to Home Depot, picked up some uh, parts I needed to. Uh, fix some uh, plumbing problems I was having in my house there uh, basically it was basically I uh, had to rebuild the toilet uh, it was leaking so I picked up those parts and uh, rebuild the toilet I had to put some new components in there seals and you know rings and gaskets and all of that so I got all of that uh, got all that fixed but uh, yesterday while I I, w I was working a lot in and out and uh, I noticed the time had passed and uh, I had, uh, had totally forgot to get my mail so it was late at night I said I left my I walked out of my house about uh, 841 walking down the street as I'm walking right now and uh, let me see right around in yeah, I, I was walking right around in here, coming back, well, well you yeah, know, walking back home, actually, where I'm walking right now, but I was walking to the mailbox to get my mail, so I'm going to get my mail today in the daytime, because uh, last night what happened was, as I was on my way back, from the mailbox, uh, I was sh well, I was shot with some kind of, you know, uh, I guess it was one of those gas cartridges, BB guns, pellet guns, whatever. I was shot in the back. So uh, I'm here again today. I'm at the mailbox. I'm gonna get my mail. I'll get my mail in the day. Ain't nothing but a bill anyway. But, as I was saying, I got my meal and I was walking from the mailbox. And I'm on my way back home and I'm not thinking about nothing but walking back home, you know, safely and nothing on my mind. So, as I'm walking, I see this vehicle coming. It's an old vehicle, an old Toyota. And I look down, I see the car. I got the last three digits of it. It was like zero, four, six, something. The old, one of those old Toyotas, like a Forerunner, but it wasn't a Forerunner, and it had those big old, uh, like the square lights on it. And uh, as I'm uh, walking back, it was like uh, right along in here. I, uh, I was shot in the back. You know, it was a, uh, it was a, uh, one of those, I would say, hot tricks. It was something that went kaboom. And uh, it had uh, turned around where it hit me in the back. And it was, uh, as, uh, as what I want to say, it hit me in the back. But I noticed when I was walking, Somebody said, hey, and I was like, I kept walking. I was like, you ain't talking to me. But anyway, I kept walking. So they shot me in the back with this, with this BB gun or pellet gun or whatever. And it broke the skin on my back. It broke me. So I was like, oh, man, what the heck is going on? Now, I've been out here going on, let's see, 31 years. I ain't never had no problems. But now... It seems like it's, uh, it's a problem. You can't have, what can I say guys? You can't have really nothing. I mean, you're not really bothering anybody, but it's just the safety. It could have been worse. I could have been ended up in a hospital or, or more, you know, somebody been digging them, some bullets out of me or something or other. But um, just out of nowhere, you know, somebody would do that. And uh, my back still hurt me, you know. It, 
it broke the skin so you know I'm like dang it put a little knot in my back and I'm like man I don't you know and I, I just I don't know it's just man I'm not a person in believing in all these violence of, of, you know where I need a gun or I want to go back and retaliate on somebody for doing something I don't know nah. you know I it's enough violence in the world already and why do I want to contribute to it because of somebody else but I know you have to protect yourself and uh, it's, it's, it's tough you know, and you don't want to be uh, living where you're afraid, afraid to come out of your house, to go somewhere, or do something, and all. You know, I mean, you just don't. And I'm like, I don't know. It, this is just, it's crazy. Because my, my, my back has hurt me, and I just feel bad about it because I'm like, dang it, it could have been worse. You know. I don't know, but I, you know, it's like, what can I say? Well, you know, in this world, you got all kinds of people do anything or try anything and all, and that's just, you know, I was just walking back from that mailbox down there, and that happened to me. Not thinking when I was walking down there that nothing was going to happen, wasn't looking for anything to happen, but it happened, and. Uh, You know, I said, boy, what is, what is it coming to? You know, for people to do, to think that way, and to, uh, huh, do things like that. But what I'm thinking is, I'm, that vehicle's maybe in this neighborhood coming down this street here. I'm probably sure I'm probably sure they're in here somewhere. Now I ain't drove the neighborhood looking for them or nothing. And I'm not going to do anything like that. I ain't looking, you know, it's like you go looking for trouble and then it'll be more trouble. It's like, man, please. And, uh, You just kind of wonder what what's in their mind. What are what are they getting out of that? You know, I'm over here hurting. My back is hurting me. I'm in pain because of that. Shot me with that uh, whatever BB gun or pellet gun, whatever it was. Shot me in the back. And I'm like, man, I don't believe this, but it's real. It happened. All I can say, guys, you know, be careful out there in your surroundings, your neighborhoods, wherever you go. Where, I mean, wherever you go right now, you just got to be uh, cautious of your surroundings at all times. And uh, just try to be safe, not to get yourself in any kind of trouble, you know, because, I don't know, um, you know, you just don't know what's going on with people and what's on it what's in their mind to do things like that you know take a weapon and shoot somebody you know and i understand some people they may do it uh for kicks or whatever they want to do but now if i've been somebody that believe in packing you know, a weapon, a, a weapon, and uh, had they done done something like that, would have ran back up on them, would have unloaded on them in a way, you know. But but that way, I ain't looking to hurt nobody. And I show, I mean, looking for nobody to be hurt me. But I, you know, you ain't looking to be out here packing a gun to. Uh, to uh, hurt someone. You ain't looking to do nothing like that. But, you know, you ain't, like, like that old saying, 
trouble is easy to get into and it's hard like I don't know what to get out of it you know it don't matter no matter what you do if you do something wrong even though you may pay your time you still got to live with what you have done what I'm saying again when somebody does something bad and if they do time for it they still got to live with what they have done and it's a lot of things that some people will always say they wish that they wouldn't have done it but but they did it and so now they have to live with that the rest of their life it don't matter whether you go to prison and go to jail or whatever or spend the time from doing some crime you still got to live with it until you lead this earth so it's best not to do it so you don't have to live with a lot of badness walking around in life you may do something and get away and nobody may not never see you do it but it's still within you you know what you've done and you got to pack that with you every day you wake up every day of your life in your right mind you waking up knowing that you have done a lot of wrongness well me starts don't do it and that's stress that you don't have to carry with yourself you know you don't have to carry that with you if you know that you're not doing things and you're living a good good life a righteous life then when things happen to you you know you got nothing to worry about it's like hey I just said that I just got caught not knowing that that individual has some kind of corruptness in their mind to do something like that, you know, but hey, they'll get theirs. You can only do so much wrong for so long before getting yours. Trust me. It don't always mean that you get caught. It's another way of getting you. And they get caught. They may do it too many times you may do it and then you ask them for forgiveness you know it's all kinds of scenarios you can't get out of it thinking that oh you got done got away with it you ain't gonna get away but anyway guys get out of here i gotta go take me something else for my back my back has hurt me so i just wanted to share that for y'all to be safe out there and uh be aware of your surroundings at all times and all kinds of bad stuff out here. All right.